Kaita mihi kia koutou uh, i tēnei ahi ahi, uh, e ki o puku, kei te pai. Uh, mauri ora kia koutou, ko Vanya Pirini tuku ingoa, ko hau te uh, Contracts Advisor mo tētahi kaupapa, tu tuka tuariki. Um, our whānau initiative here, this is their, um, so they've come through from Wave 6. Um, they are very well known um, up and down the Te Waipaunamu Rohe, around Taonga Tākaro and Kimu Tawhito. Um, just a really a, a briefing and a real strong presence around delivering uh, in our kuras, in our schools and mainstream schools. So, um, no mai, haere mai uh, ki tutuka tuariki. Tomori Ko te rā i hoia mai rā, ko te nei waka ki tēnei o tātou nei kaupapa rongo nui e whakahura nei. Ah, no, te rā mihi atna, mihi atna rā, kia koutou rā. Ah, ko te, ah, te kaupapa rā, a tūtoka tuariki, o te rā, ko te tuatei, ah, ke rere atu rā te toto wairua mai tongo rero ki te kāhui maunga rua pehu, whakawhiti atu rā ki rua hine, whakawhiti mai rā te mōna a raukaua ki te kāhui, <coughs> ki te tuka, te kōrua i huko ko ngā auraki, uh, ko ngāti tūwhare tō te ati haunu i a pāparangi, ngā ti uanuku, ngā ti rangi, ngā ti hauti ki rāta, kai tahu whānu ka te mā moi moi waitaha, uku nei iwi te taha, toku nei kuia. Uh, ka tuake ai, te maunga whakahi o tongo riro, ko te arawa te waka, yuhu te tangata, o tukau, Te hapu i te tāo tuku nei karaua e mihi ana ki a koutou rā. Uh, ko te maire ki tairo o tukai oru Williams tuku ingo, te tahi ana kai hoi o tēnei o tātou nei kaupapa a tūtuka tuareke. Nō reira, e mihi nei e tangi nei e tūwhakiti nei, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou tēnā nō tātou. Kia ora, ko Chris tōku ingoa, nō ahuriri ahui ngeri, engari i tipa wau kei waitaha, Ko ngā tiparau, ko ngā tikahumunu, ko kaitahu o ku iwi, tēnā koutou katoa. Uh, tēnei wā, ka huri ake rā me i te reo pīkite, me whakamāra me i nga kūro kei mai me tatu. Um, Tūtoko Tuwariki, uh, we are a non-profit whānau ora rōpū based down in, uh, in Ōtautai, at, uh, in many of our marae there down in uh, Waitaha. Uh, our kaupapa focuses on traditional well-being, first and foremost. We are a wairua-based organisation, Fano that promote aukati, alcohol, drug, violence-free lifestyles. And those lifestyles, in particular, are acknowledgement to those traditional practices, first and foremost, to prolong and sustain life. The quarter of our karaua, if our tupuna can sail to Mūnani Akiwa, spend four to six weeks out there, survive on a diet of fish, arrive here in Aotearoa and prolong life without the comforts of today, <coughs> to the 80s and 90s, some of them to 100 years plus. Why is it that our tāne Māori, we're not even reaching the age of 40, and we're ending up six foot underground? Part of that process is we've fallen away too far away and moved too far away from our traditional practices. Motaiha being the vertebrae and the whāraki for promoting traditional well-being. We wānanga to celebrate who we are. Nothing less. We wānanga to celebrate my sacred tongue to us, whakapapa. Part of that process is to share with our whānau, those traditional well-being practices in the form of 
tonga takaro, mahi tui, mahi ngaika. We provide a safe and non-judgmental space, background, of where we have uh, nine star accommodation. I'm oh, sorry, nine and a half star accommodation. Where our men and our tawira can come and learn about traditional practices of, of well-being, humility, whānau well-being, and pathways to become good role models, good mentors and leaders within our whānau, hapu and iwi. Part of that process here is to actually share with our whānau how do we acknowledge the sacred tonga that our tūpuna have humbly passed down to us? How do we acknowledge and give the respect and dignity to those many sacred tonga? Part of that process there is that when we acknowledge them in its truest and its most purest form, no compromise, no watered down versions. So part of that process is to ensure that the tikanga and the kawa be first and foremost in our wakato. The tikanga and the kawa be at the forefront in all processes of the mahi that we do with tutuka tuariki. The kaupapa tutuka tuariki, the pai tawhiti. Beyond the distant horizon is the epitome of one's well-being. And as our karawa uncle Ricky Allison shared many of that kūrō with us when he took us many times down to Te Taia Mahanui. And if you have a look in the distance, you will see where Tangaro and Rangi Nui meet, Koira Te Pai Tawhiti, as far as the eye can see. Our visions to Tuka Tuariki, Fana Water, Pakamana Tefana. First and foremost, once again, um, we don't compromise. We don't compromise, we don't uh, water down any of our processes, any of our tikanga kawa. All of those processes are acknowledged in its most purest natural form to prolong and sustain life. Promote humility. Promote humility, and we'll carry this on further on, is allowing those processes to happen as of right, so to speak. Promote humility, as our karawa has shared with us, and we'll cover that later on. Never judge the kōrawai by its feathers. When you know the sacred names of those two to three thousand sacred huruhuru on your kōrawai, Kweke, kotai. More importantly, you'll know who you are, let alone others, and particularly Māori to Māori, being judgmental of those sacred huruhuru, those sacred feathers on the kōrawai. So in the broad terms, his kōrero, never just the kōrawai by its feathers. The most sacred tonga to us, that humbly sits on us, has a right on our shoulders, ko te kōrawai tērā. Enrichment, enhancement, and empowerment. We always encourage our whānau to come along once again to Wānanga, celebrate those processes there. Enrichment, enhancement, and empowerment of who we are, first and foremost. Promote the well-being of whānau, hapu, and iwi. Those connections there from that sacred kōrawai, whakapapa. Kuo kukui kotato as one of the many huruhuru on our kōrawai. Kuo kukui kotato, I am you, we are us. So in Te Ao Māori, there's no such thing as I. Because we have that sacred kōrō, which the sacred feathers on the kōrawai are inclusive as opposed to exclusive. Exclusive has been uh, proven globally around the world, it will kill a culture. So when we know the sacred names of those two to three thousand feathers on the kōrawai, inclusive. When we talk and refer to kaupapa, whatever it may be, until Māori, we and us, 
as opposed to I and me. That's an acknowledgement to the whakapapa and the kōrōwe. Yeah, celebrate the inclusiveness of whakapapa, inspire te iwi Māori to prolong and sustain life. We don't want to be a statistic. We want to be there to celebrate when the next generation come and the generation after that. So these sacred tonga of traditional well-being can be handed down. Never let it happen when the day comes and we'll be reading out of a book. Once upon a time I used to know who I am, now I have to read it out of a book. How? Eh? Our current activities, okay. <clears throat> we celebrate the well-being of traditional practices, first and foremost, at Wananga Taiaha. And we're nearly up to 30 years since our Wananga initiated at Tawhitu Whare at Taumutu. Over those many years, we have seen many of our warriors come through from different pathways of life, from the Hinaki, the Whare Herere, they are now senior tutors. Our rangatahi who has come through have moved on also. They have whānau, they have mokopuna. So the initiation of that kaupapa 30 years ago in Mauraako, traditional weaponry schools to improve knowledge, fitness, self-control, discipline and humility. Uh, Mauraako has also been performed uh, regionally and globally in such events to uh, VIPs coming from overseas, to ministers, and also uh, other events such as the Matatini. Kemu Tafito. We hope to probably share some of those of you before we finish here. A lot of the Kemu Tafito uh, involve coordination. And some of it we will show you. You will see that the ones that we're going to share with you from that originated Te Ao Hangaru. Traditional games of well-being focusing on coordination, physical and spiritual well-being. These games here are ones which probably would connect more to our younger generation, so to speak, but our adults and our parents and they'd also enjoy it too. Oranga Nata, Oranga Tangata, embracing te reo Māori through concepts of waiata, haka, pūrako, karakia, rongoa Māori and traditional well-being pathways. So out where we have our wānanga at our nine and a half star accommodation block, we also have our own marakai, we also have our own puna down the road, it's called the Māori Pack and Safe. Because mm. there's, there's other pack and safes in reality when you go to them and you take a trolley into that whare pack and safe, all you're buying is a trolley full of sugar. Whereas our trolley is called a hinaki and you go to the same, uh, the same puna, like where our tūpuna prolong their well-being. Eh? And we have a a very, very original, traditional kai there. It's not called, well, it's called Tip Top Pātiki and Sanitarium Tuna. <laughs> now those names from there, they, they went on to become a name of an ice cream, which has got sugar in it. Mm. So part of that is to ensure that these traditional practices carry on to our men and our whanau that come out to Wananga. At present, we have our kaupapa te pai tapiti operating in the schools in Ōtautahi, where we deliver maurako, mahi toi, traditional games, and those number of practices that we referred to in the previous. The kururu, we are um, delivering at St. Thomas College's Tahi to the kura whakapumo i te reo tuturu ki waitaha, Shirley Intermediate to waka unua, oromaka, Hayata, Linwood College, Wairake, Tuahiwi, Papanui, Kaiapoi High School, Kashmir, and Christchurch Police. <laughs>
Christ is voice. So hopefully we can share some of our taonga, which are very rare, to our whānau, ensure that well-being is first and foremost. Some photos of our wānanga out at our nine-and-a-half-star accommodation block at Tauwhitu. Uh, up the top left, you can see some of the traditional games, as Kiorahi. On the right-hand side, the top, we also have different wāhanga <coughs> uh, operating at times to celebrate Matariki and the Christmas wānanga, where we have our whānau come along and they create their own tonga by the natural resources we have there to take home for Christmas, as opposed to being in a hurry to go home and shop everywhere to get Christmas presents, which when you take home, two or three days later, pakaru, kupo. You can't break a tuka. That's the one on the right-hand side. The left-hand left -hand side, bottom, okay, uh, our rangatahi and our younger ones working together, and the bottom right, one of the many pōhiri that we have at our wānanga. Normally our numbers uh, fluctuate between around them from about 70 to 100 plus, depending on uh, the time of the year. Mm. Okay, top left, uh, you'll see there, on the last day we celebrate the kaupapa with a hāngi, ground hāngi, tūturu. Okay? And... Uh, over the many years that we've been putting hangi down there, 40 plus 50 years, all the hangi have come out well, cooked, so to speak. Yeah, all our all our resources come from the whenua and the moana, our driftwood. So tane ma or whanau ma, hangi wood, your best wood, driftwood. If you use other wood, you'll get a lot of smoke. You won't get a lot of heat. Driftwood has the highest quantity of heat. If you use other wood on a ground hangi, you're probably waiting between three to probably four hours to get that heat. Driftwood, two hours at the max, it's hot enough. And your hangi will always turn up cooked, so to speak. The right hand one you see there with the pukana by the lane. Yeah, from uh, one of the whānau from uh, Mukufiti. It's out of Tuhiwi, where we have our Matariki Wānanga during the colder months. Uh, the bottom left here, one of our young warriors doing the. Oh, all of our Wānanga we have. Tonga to give out to those warriors who have shown the skills in that to be mentors and leaders of tomorrow. That's one of our younger top warriors, uh, junior warriors. The left here is one of the many Tonga that we have at Wānanga. These tuka, kohatu, eh, is also part of our kōrōwai. And these tuka here come straight off the moana te taia mahanui, along with the driftwood for the hangi. And if you have a look at the back here, you'll see our store here with the karingo, jewelry, all from Tutaya Mahanui, our pack and safe. Uh, the, the Tomutu store, pack and safe. <laughs> but these tonga here, uh, uh, our whānau will take them home for Matariki and for Christmas. And as mentioned before, they won't break. They're an uh, important essence of our well-being there at Wānanga and outside of Wānanga. Going back to the traditional means of well-being. As you see on our kōrowai tūtuka, the tuka were traditional means of well-being in its broadest form. Your doctor, your chemist and your rungwa from those different uh, avenues was in the form of tuka, the modi. Uh, the top right, one of our many Wahanga kuri kuri tinana. And the bottom right, our wānanga puhiri on the last day with one of our groups in that performing. 
demonstration of the skills in it that they've learned at Wananga. The top left, uh, the black and white one, uh, the senior group there going through one of the many avenues and pathways of uh, kori kori tinana. The top right, the Ropu Pākeke doing the demonstration on the last day. And the bottom is, on the right hand side, is Te Taia Mahanui. Those large mahanui you see in the back, Apataka Ara Kaihotu. Banks Peninsula is the one is. But that coastline there, on the right you'll see Te Taia Mahanui, on the left you will see the lagoon that flows into Te Kitika Ara Kaihotu, Te Waihora, Te Kitika Tutukawa, also known today as Lake Elsby. Uh, that's our pack and safe also, for our tip top pātiki and our sanitary and tuna. On the right there, Te Taia Mahanui, okay, is where our tuka, our kohatu, our driftwood and our karingo, our well-being. Uh, many more photos of our young ones performing on the last day. Behind our marae, we have uh, uh, our ngahiri there. Yeah. <laughs> Preparing our pātiki. Tip top pātiki. Hmm. No sugar. That's our pudding at night. Tip top pātiki. And on the right hand side there is our whānau um, coming down the main entrance, it was one of our pathways of Kuri Kuri Tina and also. Uh, The other kupapa that we deliver is to Paitata. At the Paitata uh, is where we travel to our different uh, runaka within Waitaha and Kaitahu Whanui, and we deliver a lot of these wahanga to the hapu and the whānau whanui. Um, a lot of our kupapa is, is traditional in relation to the kuatu. They were the main means of uh, acknowledging our atua Māori, at Tupuna, and they were the, also the main form of um, you know, going to the doctor and forking out 30 or 40 dollars as opposed to maintaining our traditional means of well-being.
pathways of well-being within Te Māori. However, beyond the distant horizon, this is a traditional pathway of well-being. Ko te pai kāpiti tērā. Ko te pai kāpiti tērā. Ko pai kāpiti, the traditional korowai that we will nurture and inspire te wii Māori to prolong and sustain life. The Pai Tapiti is the sacred Pariki, the sacred Korowai that we Tiwi Māori should embrace and nurture to empower one's wisdom and enhance and nurture one's well-being. The Korowai that we are referring to and the many sacred feathers on there, the many sacred names, as mentioned before, when you know those sacred names of those 33 other birds, the sacred quarter away sits on our shoulders humbly, sits on our shoulders as of right, not choice. There are no choices in Te Ao Māori to do. When that quarter away humbly sits on your shoulders as of right, how do we acknowledge it? That right is in the whakapapa. The names of those two to three thousand sacred feathers on your quarter way. The sacred quarter way that nurtures one's well being is humbly placed on one's shoulders by elders, kahui komato, as of right, not choice. When the komato humbly taps you on the shoulder, tanema, asks you to sit beside him, he's not going to tell you why, why you're there. You might be sitting there one week, one month, one year. Sooner or later, he's going to say, oh, we keep the phone. Order, no te whakatū. 
He's going to hear you mention the sacred names of those two to three thousand fetus. Whakapapa is the epitome of traditional well-being. Whakapapa is our kōrawai by right, not choice. Whakapapa allows Tiwi Māori to be born into our Māori as of right, not choice. Whakapapa is inclusive, not exclusive. Inclusiveness, kuo, kukwe, kotate. Whakapapa is life. Whakapapa is our right. Utonu ki te korawai. Just to finish off, I've got the indicator from our, uh, our, our fellow here, our player. The korawai, the korawai. The money you rise up there, tupuna, the poor sacred puka puka. Bible, any other form put them. When they arrive, they hit their hand on the Bible, they hit their hand on the book, we hit the land. However, by the time they finish Karakia, we had the book. And we had the hand on the book. They had our leg. What about the to Karawa? There's other Karawa in relation to the Karawa. When we acknowledge each other as Mihi or Hariru, Hine. A traditional form of well being. Kanohi ki te kanohi. Rangatira ki te rangatira. We are rangatira as a right, not choice. That rangatira tanga is in Koroi, as a right. Kanohi ki te kanohi. Rangatira ki te rangatira. Koroi ki te Koroi. Koroi ki te Koroi. Koe kukwe ko tāta tira. Ko me le mehi a tira ki a kautaura. We try to to meet the kind of that they want. Ah, what is it? In a chicken or in a cow, a cow ma, a cow ma. So we go ma, but that's not really that good. The who is that? Okay, get the car, get the rohe, get the tana. I can make it. Go right to the the cool of Tapu Rawatu, or that in the Chipuna, by Hawaii, get the motor truck in the Aotearo. I took when I had a big hui like this back in Tafiti. What do you do? Once they finish it, they put it into practice. We are practical people, that's all right. Or they look at the other way, Kawe Mai Rakoi, the Kikin of Tata Mai Kokoka. Mate Aroha Ka Morio. Mate Aroha Ka Marama. Mate Aroha Ka Oroa Ike Tangata. In our whole field, the Nanon Tata. Hey, Timahi, kia kure Timaraki, me to to Taiohi, moti kau papa tutuka tuariki. You know, our our Dame Tariana Turia had a really, really strong kōrero around the principles and the philosophies that we uphold as we as we walk the talk of Fano Ora. And Fano Ora, um, Timariki has just um, given us examples of just three off my head around the well-being, te ao Māori, and um, that self-sustainability of our uh, mahinga kai. So ngā mihi kia kue. I hope your um, hand, eye and hand coordination improves <laughs> in the next 12 hours. Um, <laughs> ka mihi kia koutou and uh, ka wātou uh, te tai taonga kia māua. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora.